Hey guys, Chicky Domain, aka Daboo, Daboo.com with the Daboo.com surf forecast update. This forecast update effective around 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, July 24th, 2015. And here it is, guys. Go time. Watching for an area of low pressure to develop off the East Florida coast uh, over the next 48 hours or so. And what it means for the surf forecast coming up, we are expecting a small bump coming. Nothing major at the moment. We'll show you that in the uh, last night's run of the Euro model. But models have con consistently been showing three areas of low pressure along the front. Looks like there's one right here, one east of North Florida now, and then one up here off the Outer Banks. Now, the flow is from the southwest to the northeast off the coast here. This area of low pressure that's dropping over the South Carolina-Georgia border, this is going to drop into uh, the Atlantic waters in here over the next 24 hours. And recently, the models have started to work in a possible another area over here in the western Gomex. You can see that right in here off Tampa, convection is starting to flare. Uh, the Euro model has been the one that's been the strongest on it. So it looks like there's four, one, two, three that we've been talking about in our updates. And now we factor in this fourth one that could lead to some nice windswell bump for the West Florida beaches over here. We'll show you that here in just a few moments. But we've now got northerly flow established off the coast in here, the East Canaveral buoy at last check within the last 30 minutes was showing northwest winds at 20, 25 knots, gust to 27. There's northerly winds on the Gray's Reef buoy and also on here on the frying pan shoals. So at least the wind is moving in the right direction. Taking a closer look now at the South Carolina, Georgia border. Here is that area of low pressure that's going to spin down here and get into the Atlantic waters. This is going to move off towards the northeast, and we'll show you that here in the model in just a few moments. And then again, here off central Florida, here's a little rotative spin right in here with the winds out of the northwest. Now, not expecting much for South Florida. But the good news is if we watch this East Canaveral buoy today and we've stayed with the northwest winds on there, there's still a chance for some outside bump coming. But if low pressure develops into here, that's going to turn the winds offshore here. Not much hope for you guys for surf. Looking for surf for central Florida on up into the Outer Banks in the upcoming forecast. Here's what it looks like out of the Tropical Atlantic Forecast Branch. 48 hour wind wave only showing seas increasing five to six feet between northeast winds 15 to 20 knots guys and then here over here on the west florida coast 15 to 20 knot westerly winds seas increasing four to five feet so the, those guys over in west florida at least you get a break to uh something to break your little small for all Looking at the latest 72-hour swell forecast, you can see this little northeast wind swell that's trying to develop in here, central Florida on up into northeast Florida. There is a little background in here for you south Florida folks, and then again, a west-northwest swell setting up, wind swell setting up for west Florida beaches. Looking at the latest run of the Euro model, this is last night's run, starting you off with Saturday. You can see low pressure just south of the Outer Banks, and then also notice this area of low pressure that's up in here uh, in the North Atlantic. Uh, if this was wintertime, we'd probably be talking about a hurricane force low. It's not wintertime, and so this is a gale. There was some hope that there was going to be some northeast ground swell generated behind that. We're still watching for that as well, but we'll walk you through the model run. This will take you into uh, Monday and you can see the Euro model wants to drop some energy in here towards the western Gomex. What's there now moves off towards the west and northwest and then another piece of energy gets dropped in and then the Euro wants to pick that back up around Thursday of next week. This is a long ways out guys and then pick it back up and head it towards the Outer Banks. Now this has been the general forecast track of the Euro model, the only difference in trend in the overnight is the Euro has now adjusted towards the west and then stalls it, picking it up, moves it out of the Gulf of Mexico and over the Outer Banks and then over New England through there. Um, 
so going back as far as surface concern, once it's in here on Saturday, if the forecast model was to hold true, strong offshore winds from central Florida on up into northeast Florida, but then we've got that east-southeast wraparound for the Carolina coast in here, and then the wind switching offshore, so it could be possible fun surf alert conditions if this model was to hold true on this forecast. And then we'll move you up, New Jersey fans, same thing on the Outer Banks. You've got that strong east-southeast flow into here and then winds quickly switching offshore out of the southwest. So it looks like the ones with the possible surf alert are going to be the south-facing beaches along the Carolina coast in here and uh, up in here towards New Jersey and New York in the upcoming forecast. That's all we got for you for now, guys. Stay tuned for the next update.